George? Want to introduce me to your friends? The archetype's second function is to be a distraction. He will follow you around like uh, as a paper plane, by the way, if you're too far away. And as long as he's out, enemies will start targeting him. Which is fantastically amazing, as you can imagine. Oh, sorry, but I just can't handle your energy right now. If he dies, well, you'll have to wait a little bit to resummon him. And speaking of which, I think this is a good time to go over the projection upgrades. The base power is very simple. The second level lets your archetype occasionally give you mental energy, and this is why the uh, projection ability becomes very useful in drawn out fights. He can keep you alive when you don't have any other health, and he can take damage for you. I hope my improved projection abilities don't go to my archetype's head. Later on, he can take more damage, and even later on, enemies will take damage when they melee attack our archetype. So he can be annoying, but he can also be useful. After all, he is from our mind. Ooh, bad ideas. You know, Cassie's mind is much more complex, and you can see it. She's had so many bad thoughts for so long that at this point, well, yeah, she is positively enabling them. Thankfully, the enabler can only target uh, one enemy at a time, so you're good for now. If there are multiples, you can choose whichever enemy the enabler is not targeting. Unless, of course, there's more than one. Excuse me while I just... What's happening? Oh, I think I just made my belt tighter. Excuse me while I just take care of this. I'm not sure what's happening. Need to keep my electrons from getting excited. This is non-Euclidean. Using telekinesis on all the archetypes is going to be a little bit too much. So if you want to find out every single little thing they say... I don't find this very attractive. As punny as they are. I can handle this. I'm no square. This is strange. Grab the game. It's good. But what we will do is talk to everyone. Except the bike, because it's just a bike. You don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. Almost had it. I just need to focus. The magnet still sees us as a boy. But the circle sees us as some kind of... Oh, what is this? A cone. Thank you. I swear I know math. Hey there. Hello. I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. What are you a formula for? S sine waves. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No, oh, I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. Well, I'm glad we lightened it with TK earlier. So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? Whoa. I hadn't thought of that. Hi, what are you two up to? We're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. Oh, oh, goodness. The world of books is torrid. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. Yes. These puns rival Raz's. Now, before I move on here, and I want to go up there, yep. I want to stop over here in the area that opened up. To grab... The purse tag. tag. Because the purse is right in this room. This is also the point where four powers becomes an interesting limitation. You end up having to switch much more often. Let's see. Up here. 
I don't see ball is the easy way to get up here. I suppose you could get on this stack, but it's actually quite difficult. Nothing I need to worry about up there. Instead, I will pounce up to this surface. I think I hear something. And first things first, grab the purse. Someone's having fun with a chess game. I guess it makes sense in this kind of mind. We also have... I... Oh. I think this is the knight that the Lady of the Lake gave her sword to. Ah, but there's no special uh, clairvoyance look for these. Just the math down there. Hey, you two. Not a good time. Nice sword. Was bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? Oh dear, I think this is an example of enablement. Well, at least confirmed, it was the lady of the lake. What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we can maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh my god! Pineapple and ham is an abomination! I knew you were a fell beast! Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who to root for. I mean, honestly, they do need some kind of counseling, and I see that Raz here, our budding unlicensed counselor, is trying to... Get involved. Yeah. I, I guess I should just leave them to it. Although I I, I like pineapple and ham on a pizza. <laughs> right. This time, the lever is right here. But the door closes immediately. So yep. It's archetype time again. I would not go in there if I were you. Why yeah, well, we don't have a choice. And we don't want to be left with the dragon. Also, sure he do doesn't that? keep the door open sure, for sure. you. Can't take it easy, big guy. Oh, shush. I think these uh, B motifs are getting a little bit distressed. Yep. Yep. Ah, 
But it's not just enablers showing up at this level. Say hello to a new variant of the regret. The deep regrets. Which carry spike bombs and have a slightly different color. They are uh, more resistant to Psy Blast, as you can see. They don't die immediately. They still die quickly enough. But I think we're going to deal with them a little bit differently. Annoyingly, I didn't get the chance to show it off as well before, but I can show it off here. The Enabler have a trumpet that can push you away. Still, I admit their tears are somewhat infectious. Time to do some real damage. Sadly, these tight quarters are actually kind of a pain to deal are a pain to deal with when it comes to enemies. If you happen to have the very last telekinesis upgrade that helps you pluck things faster, this segment will be a little bit easier. But it's by no means impossible. You this more than me. And besides, we have our archetype. He can heal us. Nobody kills my archetype and gets away with it. Ah, uh, they didn't. So this little room here has these books. Like Venus flytraps, they close on you, and you can actually climb on them, helping you reach greater heights. By going all the way to the fan there, or the windmill as you can see, and going up, you can catch on to these uh, little stray thoughts and get that tag, but there is also a shortcut. We'll need to equip mental connections. And first... A memory vault. Seems like Cassie worked with a counterfeiter, got caught, somehow managed to write a book and buy her way out of whatever situation she was in. I'm sure we'll find out more. Now, actually, what I want here also is levitation. The shortcut is to use Pouncy Ball up here, then when on the pile of books, use it again. You might not get it at first, but that's fine. This Try again, and eventually you will get it. Yep. Once you're up here, grab the figment, use levitation, and jump over, using mental connection to grab on at the last moment. Gotcha. But don't forget... Mental connection is also useful down here, and it will help you grab one figment, looking great like Cassie, and one nugget of wisdom. I'll take this nugget for an immediate rank. Hey! See, dive is great. I think teacher is about to continue the lesson. Hey, handsome! You made it! He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. 
but she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted, can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. This is getting more and more complicated. Hello? What's that? Speak up, child. I found a book. Now please help me with the bees. Sorry, kid. We librarians are an all or nothing breed. Now get me that other book. What's the other book I'm looking for? A lowly story of crime and corruption. Try not to touch it with your bare hands. Any idea where the second book is? My spies have seen traces of that filthy book in Literature Lane of all places. We tore the place apart. Still, nothing. I gotta run. No running in the library. Well, we could go to Literature Lane right away. But I think it's time to show off what you can do with a chandelier. First, we'll need to get back up top. I'll see you up there. Right. Now we're up here, and we need to find a way to make this chandelier move. This little switch down there will help us. With the help of our little projection here. These things are better on my back. It'll pull the switch. Enabling us to go up and grab, well, at least some of the figments. We'll get the other ones later. On the way down. All right, buddy, second go. And this time we can actually go straight on up. And up here, we have a whole lot of interesting things. A whole lot of photos and memories and, ah. Our friends. Also, goodbye. See you later. You're being annoying. Wow, Ford, you look so young. Ah, uh, yes, I was brilliant back in the day, but now I'm a little um all over the place. But I'm sure if Cassie keeps tending her beehives, I'll come back to my old self someday. Still a kid. Ford, can you help me get back these missing books? Just keep taking care of the hives, and everything will come back. Uh, what? I think this is a slightly distorted view of Ford, to be honest. Agent Bull? Hello, little boy. Can you help me get into the literature wing? I wish I could, but the way through is blocked. In a most confusing manner. I, I do get so overwhelmed without Cassie here to help me. She's so good at multitasking, you know. She's my best friend. Why isn't she helping you? I don't know. Where is she? Ooh, I sense some guilt as well. Hi, Compton. Feeling any better? No, I'm lost without Cassie. Oh boy. Otto Mentalis. Hi, Otto. Any idea where the missing books are? Nope, no idea. Isn't that ridiculous? I think I'm so smart even though I can't figure out some of the simplest things. <laughs> huh. Hey, Otto. What you thinking about? Oh, nothing. I just post like this so people think I'm smart and thinking all the time. I'm a little fool of myself. 
Yeah, Cassie's an interesting judge of character, good or bad. And here we've got... Oh, it's Bob Zanotto and Helmut Fulbear. Hi, Helmut. And a grand huzzah to you, fine lad. Isn't it a lovely day today? A feast for the senses? Uh, yeah. Except... Well, Cassie's acting a little strange, don't you think? Strange acting, you say? Well, not everyone is as well-trained in acting as I am, so best not to judge. Ah, uh, never mind. It's always tempting to look for a dark spot when the sun is shining, young lad. But why not enjoy the sunshine instead? Excuse me, Bob Zanotto? Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, uh, hello. What are you doing up here? Not sure. Probably something to do with plants, I'll bet. I was always really into that kind of stuff. Very loud. Oft-spoken. Hi, Helmet. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Bob! I'm a friend of your great niece. I have a niece? Well, glad she's great. Uh... And... You. Lucretia? Lucretia Mux? Please, call me Lucy. Don't you also go by another name? Oh, what? Colloquio Max Maligula, Grolovia Spain, Vetvanda, Bedlistwan was a stage name for an act that was banned in three countries. Hi. I don't want to make things awkward, but you kind of murdered my grandma. Well, I don't know who your grandma is, kid, but uh, I don't doubt it. I murdered a lot of people. Why did you murder all those people? I don't really know. I was the nicest person during my time at Green Needle Gulch. What were you doing at Green Needle Gulch? Otto Mentalis recruited me to use my powers for hydraulic titanium mining. Which Kissy told us was very bad for the environment, but nobody listened to her as usual. Did you used to be friends with Cassie? Cassie tried to be friends with me, but I was too busy making Google eyes at Fort Crawler. I ruined everything, you know. So before you became Maligula, you were a nice, normal person? People are complicated, kid. Ah, you're too young to get it. I'm gonna go. Try not to kill anybody. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. As funny as some of these responses are, it is remarkably mature. Cassie does have these figments up here, even though they are, I guess, projections. They are figments of her imagination, different ways she viewed them. But Lucretia's, Lucretia's is remarkably mature, a pretty reasoned way of looking at the situation. And yes, people are complicated. Speaking of complicated, on the other side, there's a figment. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. And a trunk for which we have no tag. And I do not think we got the suitcase yet. Ah, yes, we did. We can at least clear that out for later. Now then. Oops. Clipping issues aside. It's time to go into Literature Lane and catch after this figment, unless it comes out here on its own. Gotcha. Confusion now has made his masterpiece. It's more than me. Thank you. Very kind. Thanks to the archetype, we can also grab this lever. Why do I have to do all the hard work? and talk to a whole bunch of interesting characters right after I dismiss the archetype for being incredibly annoying. Please? Hey, are you William Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, 
I just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah. William Shakespeare archetype. Makes sense, I guess. We have, oh, ooh. Actually, before we talk to a bunch of people, one half of mine. Some figments. And one little thing here to show off. This is the letter. Lucy, your last letter frightened us. You don't sound like yourself. We're just worried about you. Love, Ford, and friends. In Ford's mind, it was Ford who wrote this letter, but obviously the others cared. And with this photo of Grulovia, I guess we can see Maligula. Interesting that Cassie has this in the literature section, but the uh, her organization system leaves a little to be desired. I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name, and I shall release the child! None of these really matter, but if you paid attention, you can get the dialogue for his name. Lance? Hey, did somebody tell you? Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. I thought the baby was creepy, so I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. Is that the Pretzelmeister who got thrown into the pretzel machine? Ugh. Do you know any spells that help find books? Of course. Will you use your spells to help find some runaway books? No, sorry. I am no friend of the dark power that emanates from the librarian's desk. Please help me. I promise. I'm tricking the librarian, not helping her. Many ally themselves with evil when it is convenient, thinking they can swerve back to the righteous path before it's too late. That's not what I'm doing. Is it? It is a good point. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Fisher King, last guardian of the Holy Grail. Really? Then where's the grail? Currently in the dishwasher. The dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. Art move. <laughs> now then, to get up here, there are two ways. You see that figment here? The stars in the back, I mean. That's way one. And this is way two on this book. Way 2 starts this way and goes up this book to the green stars and across there, which we're going on right now. Hey, it's not raining in here. Oh, this is just a fashion breeze. It distracts people from my nose. Very scary. Oh, you think so? Why, thank you. That really makes my day. Glad we could help, Scarecrow Archetype. So yeah, realistically, you want to go around first the way I'm going. And then up the center in case you fall down or to collect the last figments. That figment at the top you will not reach from this book. Oh, Ooh, I did that a little bit too late. Or too early. The one disadvantage of having an extended time bubble is if you make a mistake. But otherwise, it's not a very, very big deal. Arr! Please, pirates don't really talk that way. Oh, sorry, I... They talk like this. Arr! Let's try again. Arr! No, like this. Arr! I think we're a little bit too young. <laughs> From up top, we have a floating figment, a sitting figment, and all we need to do is swing. And just reverse and you'll get back on the ledge easily. That should be it. Excuse me, Ms. Witch, but can I borrow your magic wand? Sir! Sunny, I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. 
Welp, no choice but to keep on going. In the Concilium... What is the name of the book? Concilium Apum. Well, this one looks easy. Uh-oh. I think I just jinxed it. Formica. In other words, the ant. Now this jump. I missed it, and it looks hard. But you do need to take advantage of one little characteristic of Raz's jump. He will actually float for quite a while. As long as you don't let go of the jump button. Same with this figment. Ah! Just hold the jump button. And don't worry if you fall down. It's just a very quick reset. She works in here, but be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, that's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen. Don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember... Never double-cross a double-crosser. <laughs>